Well, it's a snowy uh, New Year's. Uh, I was wondering what I was going to be doing with uh, the uh, winter time and the mountain fortress uh, sort of on hiatus, trying to find stuff to do. So I came down to the uh, depot at the bottom and uh, this is my uh, RT6000 out here at the mountain. And uh, this plate here is missing on the one that I'm working on at the shop. So I'm going to take this plate off in the snowstorm to take it back so I can uh, measure it up and uh, cut a new part. So uh, barely made it up with a car. I would have to go up forward, get stuck, and then try again and get stuck and get stuck. There's not too much snow, but it's just been uh, wet. It's muddy underneath, and it is a winter wonderland. Uh, uh, probably some other things I ought to take a look at. Uh, trying to look at the linkage on this pedal, like the one that I had made. So... Linkage looks uh looks like I uh, made a good decision with designing it the way I did. Um, just need this plate right here so I can cut a new one. There's another couple uh, plates down there right for the skid that I'm going to have to make. But it's pretty muddy and gooey down there. I don't want to get down there. Alright, let me take that plate off. I'm looking at the mast on this one. Looks like, uh, yeah, there's no cross members like the ones I put on the uh, one that uh, I've got at the shop. So I'm going to cut some pieces for here. I won't be able to weld it out here right now. But I'll, at least I'll cut them and I'll leave them with the machine. Put a bunch of stuff together for this. So this machine's going to need some work. I'm going to need to get... I got to make a new skid plate for the one over in the shop because it's missing. So... There's a few things on either machine that one's missing it, but the other one's got it, the other one's got it, the other one's missing it. Which works out better because that allows me to uh, at least have an actual item that I can uh, fabricate if possible. So, covered in snow. It's pretty nice out here, but uh, I don't know how much longer this snow is going to happen. So let's see what I can do next. Well, here's the uh, side cover uh, off the uh, uh, forklift, the RT6000 at the mountain. So it was pretty oily and greasy. I cleaned it up. It had some dents, so I pounded it down. So I'm going to uh, clean it up a little bit and then start taking measurements for SolidWorks. Well, it's a little bit complicated since there's no uh, square part on it. Uh, this whole thing, it's got rounded uh, inserts and it's got a strange curve at the end here. Uh, luckily, some of these are 90 degrees and so my paper comes out to be all this. So, now's the time to put it on the computer. Well, I'm here on the computer. Uh, I don't know how easy that is to see, but there's my plate right here. And let me go back here. There's the the layout. Now there are some issues with my measurements because I can't take thing. I mean, whenever I take a measurement, I won't be perfect. And it took me like maybe a second time to figure out which way I wanted to do it. And I ended up doing it from basically one side, knowing that various uh, sides were uh, parallel. And I got it all done, got everything all finished out. Uh, I've exported the DXF file. So now we're going to go over and cut it on the machine. Because look at that, uh, the metal plate was probably 14 gauge. So we're going to try 14, cut it out of 14. And let's go and do that right now. Okay, I've got it all set up. I've already sent it to the uh, uh, 
the program to the, the cutter uh, 14 gauge process all goes I've got my uh, zero point I'm all ready and all I have to do is program start sending the cutting parameters Now's the time to see if I did it correctly or if I messed it up. That's great. look pretty much it in the right spot I might have cut it a little bit wider right there and by only maybe an eighth of an inch this looks like a good piece ah, it's pretty much exact all right let me uh, grind it down smooth it out and we'll try to fit it up so it looks pretty good except for I did cut the opening for the foot just looks like a one inch. I must have like measured off one inch incorrectly. But it should work fine because the, the, the foot rest comes out there a little bit farther. So this plate will be just fine. Well, I took it outside and bolted it up and bolted up nicely. But uh, it's gotten dark out. and there's the plate this hole is like one inch uh, wider than uh, normal but i actually like it that way there's a little piece of the back section of the support brace stick in there but i like having the little wider hole there that actually is a little bit nicer than the original since the original was a little bit narrower so you got that decking plate all this uh redone here uh got like a few more things i'm gonna do before i put the uh, fender back on but i'll probably be putting the fender on soon here actually i probably ought to just do it uh, i got this thing taken care of 
So the next thing on my list is put the fender on. This uh, throttle hold assembly, I don't, nobody ever uses it. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So I think that assembly is missing off the other one. Uh, so I'll have to at least uh, take some measurements and uh, maybe see about uh, uh, making some replacement parts for it. But that's uh, low on the list. All right, well, that's going to be enough for this weekend. I'm going to close up and uh, call it a uh, good New Year's Day. Yesterday, I uh, came up to uh, take uh, this panel off the RT forklift that was up there. And after I cut it and put it on, I uh, figured I'd bring it back today. Well, it snowed big time, and I got stuck right there. So I'm ways uh, away from uh, the depot part of the mountain. So I had to walk all the way up, and uh, uh, so far I've loaded one of the tires I was bringing up, and uh, also going to uh, bring up this side panel and put it back on the RT. And uh, my ATV almost, uh, well, actually got stuck twice, but I just kept working it and got it through. The snow in some places is super deep. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get back up, uh, get back up with this panel and put it back in place. See the remains of the shop down here. We haven't had time to load it out for the scrap metal. Yeah, you gotta go through it to check out. There's a few things that could be salvaged out of it, but basically, uh, sort of an eyesore. Well, uh, get over to the RT uh, 6000 and get this pl plate put back in. Wonder if it's gonna it looks like it's starting to snow. Bolts are all covered in snow.
Well, that was quick. I like on uh, the plate that I made up on uh, SolidWorks. Uh, got this dimension a little long, so I cut it out about an inch longer. I actually like that. My feet are really big, and having that extra inch actually helps. It's nice when you make a mistake and your work turned out better than if you hadn't have made the mistake. So, other than that, it fits uh, pretty much identical. All right, well, I'm gonna see what else I can do before I take off uh, to get back to the shop and uh, work on the other RT6000. Ooh. All right, let me get this thing closed up and head out.